Now let us see Booth algorithm for binary multiplication with an example. So Booth algorithm is employed for multiplication of binary or you can say sign binary numbers. This is specially being made or built by Booth's Mr. Booth since it decreases the complexity of actual multiplication. So if only shift is used, it is less complex rather than uh, plus and minuses. So let us see how it goes on. What we have to do is we have to multiply 14 with minus 5. That is, we have 5 bit numbers because 14 can be represented and 5 can be represented or the maximum one can be represented in 5 bit numbers. That will the result will be in 10 bit result. So 14 what we are going to do 14 into minus 5 in binary please please watch it carefully because these are the two numbers we are going to play with 14 what is 14 in binary as you know it is 0 1 1 1 0 and we have used 5 bit for this this 14 is in binary now how to represent this 14 in as minus 14 because we will be requiring it in our computations. What we have done, we have just complemented this number and added a 1. So this is the 2's complement. So this is minus 14, right? So we can add when we need to subtract the multiplicand. So when we need to subtract, we are not going to subtract because there is nothing called subtraction, we will add it. So we have to find the 2's complement. Since 14 work is done, let us come to minus 5. Minus 5, what minus 5 stands in binary? This is 11011. Right? So what is the expected result? You multiply 5 4s are 20, 0 2 carry hand, 5 1s are 5, 6, 7. That will be 70. And since the sign is minus uh, 70 will be there. Minus 70 will be there. So how to represent minus 70 in binary? This is the number. Minus this one stands for minus, minus and this all stands for 70. So what we are going to do, we are going to multiply these two through binary uh, unsigned booth algorithm. So let us start. We have to make certain tables on that. This is, we are going to write the step and this step will go up to 5 because we have what? We have 5 uh, bit numbers. So this step will go to 5 wherever it stops. Just at five steps, you have to stop. This is the multiplicand, and this is the multiplier. This you know, this there are two numbers. One is multiplicand, one is multiplier. And please watch it carefully. One place I'm going to write uh, this 14. One place I'm going to write this minus five. Okay, the upper five bits will be zero. I'll show you where. In front of multiplier, we'll write five bits that will be zero only. Lower 5 bit will be our multiplier and we'll add a booth bit at the start at the initialize step and we will initialize it with 0. So let us start with step 0. This is a multiplicand as you remember this is our 14. The action is on the first step is just an initialization and these are the four oh sorry five bits we have added just as zeros. This is the initialization step and let's come down to this multiplier 11011. Red, I'll show you why I've made it red. And I want to add, Booth says that you add a zero as an initialization step. So 10. There are four combinations of 1 and 0. 10, 00, 01, and 11. So for every combination, we'll have an operation. For one zero, what operation we have? Just see. Let us come to the first step because this was just an initialization step. First step. Again, the multiplicand will remain same everywhere. It is not going to change. But we have received one zero here. That means we have to subtract the multiplicand. We have to subtract this multiplicand, this number. So what we do, we add, there is nothing called subtraction. That is why we have taken minus 14 for 14. 
So minus 14, this was 14. This is minus 14. So we just add it. Add it with what? This value. Please remember this value. What is the result? 10010. If we add binary, these two values, this will come to 10010. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace this with the initial zeros because this is going to change. We have replaced this 0, 0 with this number and this was the previous number, right? Now we have to shift, we have to right shift. So we are going to shift it. Every member needs to be shifted like this. This was shifted here, this was shifted here, this was shifted here. And since one was shifted here, we have to place a one because we cannot make a value negative um, like this. We have to place a one, negative has to be negative. That is why we have placed a one here. And others are being shifted. Now this, we have received this number and this, okay? This is the final number. After shifting, we get all this. Now, this is one one. As in the first step, we see one zero give rise to subtract multiplication. But for one one, what we will do? This is the second step. Again, we write the multiplication. We do no operation. One zero comes, we subtract the multiplication. One one comes, no no operation. So we don't do any operation. But we really shift. This is the every second part of every step is right shifting so again we shift it right one comes here one comes here like zero comes here one comes here one comes here zero comes here this is shifting but we have to place one because we cannot just make negative value positive by placing the zero okay this is all this is being shifted zero zero and one two here this is being shifted but now what we are going to see the last two numbers zero one so let's come to the third step again this these all value will remain same so we have to add the multiplicand if one zero comes we have to subtract the multiplicand if zero one comes we have to add the multiplicand so what we are going to do we have to add this one 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 zero zero with the multiplicand add no problem with adding so we have to just take this 14 and add to whatever has come here the result will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and we'll place this right across here. So this one, this carry will also come, this carry will be ignored because adding a positive and negative number cannot overflow, right? So we'll um, leave that carry. Again, as I said, every step has a sub part which is calling a shift, right? So we'll be shifting it. We shifted it. What this number? Because now this particular value which has started with 00 will be replaced by this this will remain same as this one and we now shift because we are shifting zero to here oh there are some problem okay no problem this shifting and now we can place here zero because this is not a negative number if one is shifted then you have to place a one again one shifting 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 we have shifted, shifted, zero. Okay. So what we have received, zero and one zero here. Now what, what we have to do? One zero, subtract multiplicate. So what we are going to do? Subtract multiplicate. So whatever value was there, we subtracted this multiplicate and what rather we have added minus 40. So this will be one zero, one one one. We place it here. This keeps on going and we should, as a sub second sub part, we right shift it. So we shifted every value. And as, as you know that we shifted, we, we have to place one here. And if this is zero, we don't have to place one. We have to place a, we can place a zero. But when one is there, we have to place a one. Now after shifting, what we get in the last two values will be one one. And as you very well know by now, one one is what? Let us see, one one means no operation. No operation will be done and you see this is remaining right shift automatic because this has to be done after every operation we shifted it right wise and this is the value of our desire so the booth result of minus 17 binary is nothing but the final result so hope you got a bit idea of booth algorithm 
Thank you so much. Take care.